The sun is very, very strong here. It's April 1st. I got no joke for you. That is a tragedy. Terrible tragedy. Let's walk over here. Uh, first, I guess I'd like to point out my hat. The hat is enormous, isn't it? Look at that hat. It's a big hat. This hat was made in Harakuro, which is a island uh, over near Aracutin, which is near Aracuro. It's a nearby town. It's actually a, a really interesting town in many ways, but one of the interesting things I do is they make hats. In this case, a very big hat. So the sun is so oppressive out this time of year, you know, it just comes down hard on you, especially this time of, well, it's, it's pretty early yet. It's only 1030, but by, you know, two o'clock, three o'clock, it's actually gonna be hotter than I like out in the sun. And it's not just the temperature that's going on, it's the actual radiation hitting you. Um, so the sun, direct sun is, is what's heating you up in the shade. Uh, it doesn't get that hot, you know? And each building is different because of the way it's constructed. Every shaded spot is different. But in this case, it's a, I'm, I guess I'm floating the idea that for this kind of time of day, these hats, although they look goofy at first, that's why I bought them. Because there was three of them, I, I bought three of them because uh, they just look great. I think they're hilarious. But it turns out they actually have massive pragmatic use because you know, you're walking around with your own portable shade structure and you're only covering up as much head, uh, your head as you would with a hat anyway. So why not stick some other shade on the outside of it and that shades your shoulders more? Almost by definition, since the sun is up there when it's hot, it's gonna provide you shade where you want it. Now I don't like that there's no strap. Uh, that could be added. 